Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Hip Kit Club. I'm using the February 2021 uh, kits, uh, which are full of gorgeousness. Um, very soon, hopefully, we'll have the March and April kits as well. Um, and today I am being inspired by the mood board. <clears throat> now, this mood board is pink, pink and black, and uh, my layout is blue. <laughs> um, but um, that's okay because... Um, you don't have to just be inspired by the colors on a mood board. You can take various elements, and that's what I've done. Um, so I'm the mood board itself is a pink, black, and uh, kind of a bit of a creamy color as well. Uh, it's very um, monochromatic. So I'm making a monochromatic layout today, but I'm just using a different color. So I'm going for blue, because I wanted to do a boy layout. Um, so I have cut the all boy cut file uh, from um, blue paper. It's dark blue and it has darker blue stars on it. It's quite subtle. Um, it's by Echo Park Little Dreamer, I think, that was in the February kit. Um, so I've cut that with my silhouette um, just uh, in the blue. And now I've, I'm now just backing that with um, one of the white pattern papers uh, from this kit as well. So this is a sheet of paper that's white, white with a kind of like a diagonal stripe on one side and on the other side it's a black and white floral. Um, so um, that was ideal for um, backing my cut file. It gives me some texture on the, um, on the letters <clears throat> without uh, being an overbearing pattern. Um, so, um, so yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm, I just literally cut around that. I used um, pencil and scissors and hand drew around it and then I've cut it out. Um, and now I am adding my cut file back on top of that uh, backed piece. And I'm actually going to use foam pads to raise this up because um, I like the look of a three-dimensional title. It's not always possible to do this because sometimes the cut files are just too skinny. Um, but this one, because I've cut it quite big and it has some very wide areas, um, that was no problem. So I have uh, popped it up on foam pads and I'm just about to uh, stick that onto that um, that backing piece. Um, so I also um, have the middle pieces uh, from the cut file as well. So like the A, for example, has um, the middle triangle. Um, so that needs to go on as well, but I haven't dealt with those um, just yet. So just now ready to stick that on. And that looks really, really good. I'm so happy with how that looks. Um, I just need to trim around it slightly. Um, whenever you do anything like this by hand, um, it's never as accurate as it would be if you did it on the machine. Um, I could easily have done it on the machine, but, but um, I just wasn't organized enough at the time of cutting the main cut file to know what I was gonna back it with. Um, so when I sat down at my desk to uh, scrapbook, um, I was like, oh, this piece is perfect. But by that point, my machine was off and my computer was off and I just wanted to sit down and craft. So, um, okay, so on the mood board, there are letters, um, like uh, postal letters um, with hand writing on them. And some of the edges on the um, paper are torn. So I decided to go for torn um paper on this layout to represent that part of the mood board. So I've taken the blue ledger paper from the kit, uh, which I believe is an exclusive, um, and um, I have torn the bottom piece off in a diagonal um, design, and I've torn another layer off as well, so I've layered that underneath the first one. So I've got two layers of torn paper from the top of the layout to the bottom of the layout. Um, can you see that I'm now sticking the um, middle pieces back inside um, the title um, and I'm using the um, letters themselves as a template to make sure that I get those pieces in the right place. So I kept all of, once I have a cut file like this, I keep all the pieces until the cut file is assembled um, and stuck on a layout and then I'll get rid of all the other bits. Um, but uh, you can see there that um, I had to use the O as a template to work out exactly where the other piece should go because it just if it was around the wrong way it just wouldn't look right you wouldn't get that kind of dimensional feel so uh so that's what i i do there um okay so back to my torn paper so going back to the mood board for a moment um on the top left image it says good vibes only um and it's kind of got like a watercolory effect background again in pink um but i chose the blue background paper for that reason that it has um even though it's like a ledger print, it has areas of like watercolor staining um, on the paper. So that reminded me of that image on the mood board, even though it is a different color.
So I'm just getting that um, stuck in place. Um, and uh, I've raised the bottom edge up on foam pads and I've just stuck the top edge flat um, and then got those uh, stuck down. So the um, torn edges um, at the bottom are, are raised up on foam pads and it just gives a nice um, bit of, of dimension. Um, so now I can just start arranging my cut file and my photos. So I've got two photos of my, uh, my boy, my middle child, um, who is uh, just about to turn eight. Um, and uh, he is Lego obsessed, like seriously Lego obsessed. Um, and for school, he had to do a blog post about his favorite thing. And obviously his favorite thing is Lego. Um, so he um, went up to his room, because he had to include photos. He went up to his room and he uh, took selfies of him with his Lego in the background. But his selfie skills are a little to be desired uh, because he's managed to cut off half of his face um, one um, and the other one he's only got a small small really really tiny amount of his face in so um, I think they're quite funny um, quite funny photos um, you can see that he shares my his room with my albums can you see that that whole uh, big um, uh, thing in the background that has all of my albums that big unit in the background that has all my albums in <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he has the biggest room in the house, so, you know, he has to make sacrifices. Um, so, uh, so anyway, I liked these photos, uh, because as I say they were funny because he took them and he didn't do a particularly good job. Uh, he's got a lot of other things in the photo, not that much of his Lego or himself. Um, so I just thought they were quite amusing. Also, um, they reminded me of the images on the mood board. You have two images of people. So one is the bottom left where the lady has, uh, part of her face covered by butterflies and one is the top middle which is you have these half faces they're kind of like drawings rather than realistic um and they're only I say they're only half faces so both of those um pictures on the mood board have their face have part faces covered um so I thought these photos worked well um with that okay so under my cut file I have um added some black stitching. I just wanted to have a little bit of texture um, under the cut file. So I did my, used my sewing machine and I just stitched several lines of straight stitch um, in black thread and I did that to go under the cut file. So then I've just layered my cut file on top. Um, I've also added a lot of the clear stickers. So this will give me a mixed media look without actually having to do any mixed media. It's quite, they're quite cool. I quite like these stickers, even though I do do mixed media layouts as well. Um, it's a lot less messy and uh, less time consuming as well because you don't have to draw, uh, dry the layers, dry the paint. So that, that's quite cool. So I've just st stuck a few of those uh, stickers underneath the cut file, underneath the photos, um, and uh, I'm, I'm really liking how they're looking actually. Um, so on the mood board there is an image with triangles, and they're double triangles, and they're uh, overlapping each other, and they're on a black background. Um, so I have just cut some cut, cut some cut files, nope, um, cut some triangles even, um, from the off cuts of the background paper that I've used. So that big blue area, the back of it is a very dark blue um, print with uh, kind of stitched hearts on. Um, so I've just cut up, um, I cut two square, I cut a big square actually, and then I cut it in half diagonally twice. So that I ended up with um, little triangles, or oh, they're still quite big actually. And I'm just gonna layer those um, on top of each other and uh, attach those to the layout. And then I have used that image from the mood board um, as well. <clears throat> um, here, here are those triangles um, ready to go onto the layout. I actually added some stitching around the edges of those, again, with black thread on my sewing machine. So, um, and I'm going to raise those up on foam pads. Although the way that I want to overlap them, um, I really didn't need a foam pad on the um, point of the triangle. Um, so <clears throat> I had to end up removing those ones, even though I'd already added them. So <laughs> uh, the layers were just not quite right. Um, okay, so just adding in some arrow stickers um, and bits and pieces from the rest of the kit. I've pulled out um, the Pinkfresh Studio Some Days um, stickers and I'm using some of those um, to add some details up on the top left. So I wanted to cover up some of the photo because um, part of the photo uh, has a load of 
stuff in the background that's got nothing to do with what he was trying to achieve, um, like my albums. Um, so I thought I would that would be a good area of the photo to uh, cover up with embellishments um, because I don't have um, a lot of room on this layout really to put other embellishments. Um, so I thought that would be a good place um, around the photo uh, to do that. So I picked up on a few circular elements. I really love that there's a rainbow style, um, you know, it's like a half circle crescent. Um, style sticker on that sheet and it says wake up and be awesome so that's really cool I really liked that so I put put that on there <clears throat> um I've just added some other little labels to the triangles I've added one that says essential and one that says what um and then over on the right hand side I've added another uh, kind of like arrow label sticker I've got the word awesome uh, which is a exclusive uh, die cut title um which uh, one of the exclusives this month. Um, so I pulled that out and I've stuck that over the top of the cut file. I've also added a couple of doodled flowers. They were on the clear sticker sheet. Um, and uh, because there are lots of flowers on the mood board, I wanted to um, include some flowers, even though I did not want this layout to be a floral layout. It was definitely okay to have some doodled flowers um, in there. So they're like, kind of like um, quarter flowers. Um, and I've just popped um, those either side of my cut file. So one over on the right and one over on the left hand side. Um, so adding in some hearts, still going with the whole monochromatic feel of this layout. So the blue tones mostly. Um, and uh, I've added in those clear sticker hearts um, that are exclusive. And now adding in some enamel dots. Um, I also had some two little black, black hearts. They were from the exclusive ephemera too. Um, and uh, yeah, enamel dots in place as well. So now just coming in with a little bit of extra mixed media for um, this background. Um, and I'm using the Tickle Me Turquoise shimmers that came in the February color kit. And I'm just adding some splatters um, top left and down at the bottom there um, with a paintbrush. I had to uh, water it down slightly. It was a bit too thick to splatter, so I had to water it down slightly. Um, and um, I've just added those splatters in in those two areas. And now just coming in with um, some big blobs of um, black Indian ink. Um, that always adds a lot of drama to a page. I always like how that looks. Um, because I'm dropping it onto pattern paper, um, it will wick into the paper very quickly. So I'm just um, using a tissue to uh, wick up some of the excess ink uh, so that it doesn't bleed <clears throat> into the paper. And I've done my journaling over on the right hand side. And that is me done. <clears throat> so I hope you can see how I have been inspired by the mood board, even though it looks nothing like the mood board. Um, there's lots of different ways of taking inspiration. So I hope that I've helped with that today. Um, okay, so don't forget that if you are a Hip Kit Club subscriber, um, you get the main kit at a reduced price, 15% discount off all add-on kits, and you get access to exclusive subscriber cut files like the one I used today. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club. <laughs>